Hi, student success. This is week three of the summer semester. And so I just wanted to preface this with, there are a lot of assignments in week three. So I'm gonna apologize uh, for that. You know, that's just how the coordinator set up the course. She just kind of put a lot of things in week three. And so I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. And I'm also gonna have to be doing a lot of juggling back and forth between screens and applications, just to make sure you kind of understand everything that's happening. Okay. So week three is uh, connected to chapter 12 of your online text talking about career services exploration. And so you'll be reading about that and then all of the assignments will have to do with career exploration or you know, making sure you're familiar with your resources at the college as it relates to scheduling and getting on track to graduation, which gets you closer to your career. Okay. So the first assignment you can see here in week three uh, assignments is what's called the Explore and Educational Pathways to a Career Assignment. Now that one and your discussion form go nicely together, but you have to complete this first one in order to answer your career forum. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my assignments. And here it has all my assignments and objectives again. And here's where I'm gonna find that Explore and Educational Pathways and my discussion forum. Both are gonna be inside this first folder. Okay, here's a quick little video if you need to watch. It's gonna talk about Career Coach, which is part of what you're going to be doing today. All right, so I'm gonna click in. And this is gonna open up one of these like moving. Picking a degree is so stressful. My instructor suggested I take one of these moving PowerPoints. So it's going to kind of walk you through um, some places to go. And so here's what we're going to do. It says you can go to this page. It's also linked in the materials folder. So I'm just going to click here so I can link to it. Here we go. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have a list of all the academics that have to do with all of the careers. And you're just going to find the one that matches your particular path. So I'm just going to go for our purposes. I'm just going to go in like business. I'm just going to pick one. You're going to go in and it's going to tell you about that particular field. I have a whole bunch of information. And then toward the bottom, it's going to get more specific. It's going to list, you know, the exact majors and plans within that kind of larger. So I'm just going to click on, let's say I'm a finance major. So I'm going to click on that. And this is going to give me, again, more of an overview. It's going to tell me some, you know, who my department chair is. It's going to give me some more links and resources. But then I'm going to look, you know, here's a list of my courses. This is where I'm going to really focus on. And I'm going to click whether it's full-time or part-time. It's going to have the same courses. It may just kind of give you advice on how to schedule based on if you're full-time or part-time. Okay, so here's what I'm going to pull up to use for this first half of this assignment. So after I pull that up, um, here we go. It's going to have like a little video and it's going to kind of walk you through basically what I just walked you through how to get there. You're also going to use career coach, which I'm actually going to get to here in just a minute. But here's a little video on career coach and you can click on that if it doesn't open up right for you. Here on this slide, and you're going to have two of these slides, choice one and choice two. Now, for choice one, I would recommend like going with the actual career that you are planning on entering. And then choice two, maybe you're undecided, you want to explore another career, or you are already decided and you can look at a career that's very similar, or you can just kind of look at something that sounds like fun, because you're going to have to do the slide twice with two different careers. So at the very top, here's where you're going to get your information from this slide right here. So it's gonna ask you for, again, division, degree, major. Here's your division. Here's your degree. Here's your major. So those in, that information is right there, right at the top. And it's gonna ask you for program requirements. I do not need you to list like every single class. No, just kind of maybe look and see how many credits you're going to have to take. Depending on your major, maybe it's going to talk about a, um, a test or a certificate or something else. So you don't have to get too in-depth with that there. All right, the next part, here's where we're going to use Career Coach. So you're going to go into Career Coach, which I'm going to, ooh, I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to go down to the bottom. 
and see, I'm at the Stark State, you can get this from the Stark State homepage. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to click right on Career Coach. And I'm going to go to Browse Careers. And I'm going to, since I was looking at finance, I'm going to click finance. And whatever, you know, matches, I'm going to be an analyst. I'm going to click in there. And for that second part, it says, what's the job and career? So you're going to enter that. Okay, financial analyst. What's the average salary? Well, right there is the average salary. It's going to ask for job postings. So that's where you go, live job postings. And it's going to give you a couple examples. Maybe just jot down one or two. You don't have to list a whole bunch of them. And then qualifications. Like when you click on that actual posting, what do you have to do? What do you have to know? Like down here, bachelor's degree, prior experience. Again, just a few. You don't have to fill out like 50 things. <laughs> okay, so that's what you're doing. And then you're going to do it for a second career. So again, you're choosing maybe a, the first career is what you're really going into. The second one is maybe something that sounds interesting. Maybe it's connected to your current field. Um, maybe it just sounds fun. Whatever kind of you want to do with that. So that is the Exploring Educational Pathways assignment. So I'm going to click back so I can get back into it. There we go. So I've done that. When you submit it, it'll automatically grade into the grade book. So it's not something that I go in and have to score. It is something that as soon as you complete it, it'll say, you know, 20 out of 20 or whatever the case is. So just check to make sure it's recorded. Then here's your discussion forum. Using what you did up here, so maybe pick one of the two careers you looked into, talk about, you know, what did you look at? Was there anything that's interesting or surprising? Were you surprised to see how much money the career could make? Or did you not know you had to get a bachelor's degree later? Or anything that you found new or interesting, or maybe you were already well-researched, and you can say that. So that's your discussion forum for week three. You have to post that by Wednesday, June 17th for attendance. And then, as always, respond to two classmates, um, you know, by the Sunday, the 21st. Okay, so that is the first two assignments so far. Now, here we go. The next two assignments are linked very closely together. And for this one, it's going to make a note. Firefox works best for this, okay? So Firefox Firefox works best. So I'm going to get into, for this assignment, My Stark State. And I'm going to go to the My Stuff tab. And then I'm going to go into My Academic Plan, which is going to open up into this. And this is, uh, this is actually my brother <laughs> who gave me permission years ago to use this um, as an example. And this is your My Academic Plan. It gives you all your little information here about your degree and your GPA and your advisor. You know, always look at that. Know who your advisor is. But then it's also going to give you all your test scores, and it's going to give you all the classes that you are going to have to take. Some of you may have a lot of green checks, meaning you're completed already. Some of you may have outlined in red, which means you still have to take it. And then some of your courses are in progress, so it's like a little blue squiggly. So you're going to pull that up, and you're going to do the first thing you're going to do with it, and you're going to save it as a PDF. So again, this is why you need to be in Firefox, because it's more compatible this way. If you do not use Firefox, more than likely, you're going to be uploading a document to me that does not work. If you do not have Firefox, or um, I know sometimes Macs have a lot of issues with this, go ahead and take a screenshot for me and send it to me as a JPEG. So I'm going to click Save as a PDF. I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to go to this little buddy. I think it's out of, you know what, let me minimize it because it's out of the screen. I'm going to go to that where it says Tools. I'm going to go to Download. I'm just going to hit save file. And then I know that in my folder under downloads, there it is. And I can rename it to whatever I need to. And then I know when I get back in here, I can click on this. I'm going to browse my computer and go back into my downloads. And there it is. And I'll hit open and submit it. There's my map. So it's Really a small, quick assignment. The biggest thing is making sure that you use Firefox so that it does download as a PDF. If you do not use Firefox, if you use Chrome or even Internet Explorer, it will not work more than likely. I've had lots of issues with that, so please make sure you do that. Then, why it's connected, here is the program advisor information. You are going to use your map page for this. It's going to help you fill this out. And really what this is, is just a quick little table. 
and you're going to get all your answers to this from your map page. What degree is listed in your profile? So let me go back up to my map page again. Sorry, I have so much stuff opened up here. Um, let me just pull it up from here. Okay, here we go. Um, my degree, there's my degree, Associate of Applied Business for the one I'm using. The major, oh my goodness, again, sorry, clicking around too much. The major is right underneath there, Business Management. It wants to know my catalog year. This is often hard to find because it's so written tiny. Uh, down here, right over here. I told you this is my brother, so it's fairly old. His was 2013. Yours is going to say 2019 or 2020. So it's kind of underneath that degree progress bar is your catalog year. And then it wants to know who is your advisor. So you go in again and you click up. And there's your advisor. If you are a CCP student, go ahead and just put down your high school counselor. They'll, they're kind of your connection at the college if you don't have anything listed there. So then you're going to save that. Go back into your assignments. Click in. And browse your computer and submit. Okay. Last part. I know I told you this is a lot this week, guys. This is 30 points. Please make sure you do it. It's 30 points because there are three parts. Okay. Here's the directions. So you're going to open up those directions. They're going to open up into this document right here and it's going to walk you through part one, part two, and part three. Part one, you are going to take a career coach assessment. So I already have my career coach pulled up here somewhere. Here's career coach. When you get here, you're going to hit take a career assessment. And if you want, you can sign up. If you want to create an account, if you want to have access to this information later, it's not a bad idea to have that access because I know other classes at the college will require you to take this assessment. And if you've already taken it, you can just log into your account, pull it up. Uh, if you don't care to have access to it later or, you know, it's not a big deal, you can just take it as a guest, basically. You're going to take the 60 questions. Don't freak out. It's really quick. Demonstrate. Say, don't worry about all this stuff. These are the questions you're answering. Would you like to build cabinets? Yeah, okay. Would you like to lay brick or tile? Yeah. That's the 60 questions you're answering. It goes really quickly. When you're done, you're going to get your traits um, and then your top career matches. But you can also pull up, download your full results. So that's going to give you kind of like this breakdown of everything you got. Of course, it's not going to <laughs> download easily for me right here. Normally, it would. So I'm going to download the full results, and it should come up in a PDF. I'll try one more time. There we go. Uh, and here's my full results. It's a breakdown of my traits, my job categories, my top 10 career matches. I took a very random version of this. Apparently, I should work in a, a greenhouse according to the way I took it. And then it's going to go into like your personality traits and information about that. Now, when you're actually in your results, you can click around and do a little bit more. You can find like what are my top matches. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe I do want to work in tourism. And then it takes you to this page and it tells you more about that field. Anyway, when you get your full PDF results, you're going to download them. Again, maybe save them. And then you'll go back. And that's one of the things you are uploading. It's not the only thing. It's one of the things. So that's the first thing. When you go to Dropbox, that's one of the assignments that you're, you're going to upload to. That's one of them, your career assessment results. The second thing you're doing, you're going to go into career um, Create Skills to Succeed accounts. So you're going to go to this website. I'm in here already again. Okay, here I am. You create an account, Skills to Succeed Academy, and you're going to go into, uh, going to choose a career. It's only six modules. And you're going to kind of look and see, uh, you know, which one of these matches you. Now, if you've already chosen a career, that's fine. Go into the getting a job section. Click in there. Because I just want I want it to, to work for you. You know, look and see which one fits. Uh, because you're going to complete a module, one module, one module out of quitting a job or the choose a career. 
So there's six in there and 20 in there. You are not doing all six or all 20. You're doing one module. And at the end of it, you'll get like a progress report that shows me, yep, you completed that module. That's what you'll download and save and will be your second PDF or second file to upload. So that's the first two parts. You're going to do your 60 question assessment and career coach and then your skills to succeed academy. That's what you're uploading in there. Now, the third and final part of this assignment kind of goes, it connects you to the skills to succeed, is you have to watch a video. It's a workshop video. You now, here's the link to it right there, but it's also right there. And you're going to watch that through to the end. It's going to talk to you about your career services uh, office on our campus and how you can utilize them. Now, when you have watched the entire video with sound on, Blackboard will send me a notification that says, hey, you know, your student so-and-so has completed it. That way I know you've completed the that part of the assignment. By doing all three parts, that's how you earn all 30 points for this assignment. Okay. By completing parts one and two and uploading those PDFs and then watching the full video, that's how you get your 30 points. And I can, again, run a report and get those tickets to see who did that. Okay, so that, friends, is week three. Again, I know it's a lot. I apologize for that. Again, that's just kind of how it, it works out when we're taking an eight-week version of this. Lots of stuff in every week. Uh, as I have been the first two weeks, when you complete all of your assignments, I will send you a message right in here under course messages so that you can check and see, okay, did I get my week three done? And I do that because I'm already in Blackboard, so it's just easier for me to send it to you while I'm in Blackboard. Um, if you don't get a message from me, it means something hasn't completed. And normally I will send those completion messages up through like Sunday morning. If you complete the week sometime Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, I typically won't have time to send those messages out because I'm still grading and finishing, finishing things up. Another reminder, just keep on top of your grades. Check your grades. Check to make sure things have been entered. Um, Attendance I enter on Sunday nights toward the end of the week, so you'll see those grades show up then. Other assignments are usually graded in chunks. There's about 50 of you, so I try to do it in chunks. I don't enter all the grades constantly because I want to kind of chunk them together. So normally I do a lot of my grading like Thursday mornings after attendance po posts are due, and then I do another round usually Fridays and then Sundays. So just make sure that everything's being graded. Anything that says in progress that's an assignment, you've made sure you've gone all the way through and completed and submitted. Okay, so that is week three. Please reach out if you need anything, and I hope you're having a great week and weekend.